Have you ever had things just go so wrong? One after the other that you just put on a crash helmet and make a video and put it on YouTube. That's what I'm doing. All right. So, and the crash helmet is to cover my hair. <laughs> That's how bad everything's going. And I think my helmet might be backwards, but I'm not sure. So yesterday I woke up. Where is it? I was going to have it with me. And I went to get dressed and the button on my jeans came off and that was really a bad moment because this was the last pair of jeans that fit and I was like okay so now I don't have any pants and and I'm not a shopper so I'm not going to get any so I'm like okay so I'm digging through I'm digging through my clothes I find this pair of jeans that said they were the same size as the ones that died <clears throat> at the hands of me because I ate myself out of them and now they had to pay the price <laughs> And so, um, cause yeah, now they're just all messed up and I tried the, the button isn't going to go back on. I don't think so anyway. So now I, I find this other pair of jeans and I put them on and it said they were the same size. I thought this will work. And I put them on and I try to walk and I'm like a cardboard man. Like I cannot walk. I'm wearing them right now. I'm not going to buy another pair. This is it. I'm wearing them until things change and things are going to change. I hope because I'm cheap and I'm not buying more pants. So then the day just got worse, worse, so much worse. The house, I decided to finally get something fixed in the house that needed fixing. And, but then now the task that has been heaped back upon me to prepare for that. Now I have like a week that I have to tear off baseboards for the entire top floor, tear out all the baseboards. You think, well, that's not that hard. Yeah. Well, I started doing it last night. It's hard. I've torn off baseboards before, but I don't know what these things are attached with. They don't come off. So then I went to like Lowe's at night and I got all these pry bars and mallets and thingies and hopefully something works. It's like, I don't know if they're glued on with super glue or what the deal is. So I got to get all those baseboards off and then I got to use this urine destroyer stuff to kill a dog that probably died 50 years ago that has left itself all throughout the upstairs. I number the room. We literally have a dog pee room and like and the thing, it's a misnomer because it's not the only room. It's the number one dog pee room, but then there's number two and there's number three and and then the other ones. Well, the good news about every other room is that the smoke smells so bad that it covers up the dog piece. So, so anyway, I got like a million things to fix. So I, I got to pry these boards off and then I got to use this urine killer stuff. And then, and then I got to paint the floor with this urine odor primer thing, try to seal down the urine, try to seal the urine in. Here comes two pack. At least two pack can make me smile, right? And then, um, so I'm going to seal the urine in, which is always what you want to do in your house. I should probably be like Bob Vila or something. And, um, yeah. And so we're going to seal it in so it can forever be part of the house. Cause God forbid this dog ever go away. So I don't even know what the dog's name was. It owns the house. It, I paid for the house. The dog owns the house. Dealing with the fact that I got no pants that fit. <laughs> And then I got this house problem to deal with. So I'm trying to deal with it. So I come outside to just be like, okay, I'm going to chill with the squirrels. Well, the squirrels are gone. Like, because the, the hawks, it, the, it goes in like, um, phases. The hawks scare all the squirrels away sometimes. And right now, like Hansi stayed with me last night. She, she came and sat on my lap and we did our little thing and our little good night ritual. And that was cool. And Tupac just came up and I, I saw baby Ur this morning and I saw the unnamed brother. And, um, that's to baby Ur and baby Gray's brother is unnamed brother. I saw him, but I didn't see baby Gray. And then I haven't seen her for two days and I saw a tattoo yesterday, but not today. I saw a broken tail yesterday, but not today. I haven't seen so many squirrels in so long. The otter, the sphinx, Joe Lewis, orangey bareback, um, pretty face not too oh god i really want to see not too and 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 run around sue i haven't seen in forever cuddles i haven't seen in like a month and she's disappeared for like i think six weeks before i came back i think it was something like that so i'm hoping that i see her again i love cuddles so much and then all of hans's babies are like gone i think she moved them somewhere else and condo girl I haven't seen since two days here comes somebody I'm not even sure who this is and who are you? 
And I saw Peter Cottontail a couple days ago, but he didn't come see me. Come here. Come here. I'm not even sure who I just fed. So, but it knew me. Sparse tail's gone. I mean, it's tough. It's tough when they move and you don't know where they go. And then they come back, but, and you're like, where were you? But you just hope they come back, right? And they did the last time. So I'm hoping it's just another phase and everything else is falling apart. And this guy's IMing me from work here, ding. And um, we're trying to get something working and that's not working because nothing ever works. And that's, that's why I work in IT is we fix stuff that's broke, but at least that's what we're supposed to do. But it just seems like the moment that you fix it is so fleeting and then it's gone. The problems because people are happy and they move on. And so you're just like, you move on, but then you forget. And then all you're dealing with, you're dealing with problems, 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 you know, let's see what he wants. Um, not sure how I can change the server. The instructions aren't overly clear to me. I'll see if I can figure it out, but it may be easier to get an install package from the server you want me to test again. Okay. All right, that was easy for now. So um, anyway, so work is one problem after another. The house is, I'm never gonna be done. And then here comes another guy. I think it's Tupac. Hey, Tupac, it's so good that at least somebody's around. You know, come here, Tupac. Come here, Tupac. Aw. And um, I used to call Tupac funny ears. <laughs> he has funny little ears. Like one of them is like in two pieces. I, I assume that was a, hopefully it was like something he was born with and I'm not laughing at a tragedy, but um, he's cute. And Gene Simmons, I mean, he's been gone forever. Something, I don't know what happened to Gene Simmons and, and um, he lived out there, Gene Simmons. And then, oh, he was just starting to get like a really cool personality, you know? And, he was starting to become one of the gang, and then he was gone. Here's somebody. Hey, it's Baby Err. Hey, Baby Err. Aw, Baby Err goes on the trampoline. See, baby, there's Baby Err. Hey, Baby Err. <laughs> baby Err doesn't take from the hand yet. So, but um, anyway, I feel like I feel deserted. I know I just had two squirrels come up, but I mean, it used to be like a party. It would be like 15 and... Aw, there he goes. And um, it's just hard. And then my hair. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, everything. And I just, and, and then last night I was so depressed about it all. I ate two bowls of ice cream, which is not going to get me out of the cardboard pants. All right. And all that, I forgot to tell my story. <laughs> so yesterday, oh, oh baby er, baby er, hang on. Hey. I don't know when baby girl, you know, be a grown up. So yesterday, everything's falling apart. Like everything's just sucking. I make this video um, to document the suckage and I like, and I, and I detailed out, you know, everything that was wrong, just very briefly, just touched on the points of my you know, the work, everything seems like everything's, it's in a state of everything's broken. And then um, I'm working on like all these different things and nothing's getting anywhere. Anyway, so I made this video, just I'll insert it, I'll insert it. And, and just about how everything's sucking. I made this video, I put it and I was emailing with my friend. And then I said, well, I wanted to send her the video through email, but it wouldn't go. So I said, I'll put it on YouTube and, and I'll make it so only you can see it. Or at least so I thought, because, you know, I'm not a YouTube expert. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I go on, I put it on YouTube, send her the link. We kind of, you know, lament <laughs> my tragedy and laugh at my stupid video. I thought she was the only person who could see it because it said, you know, you have a link. You send the only people who you send the link to can see it. Well, apparently that's not true because I woke up today and the video had seven views on <laughs> it. Oh, we saw the video. So I want to apologize if you're one of the people who saw it. Hey, come here. Okay. Um, yeah, I just want to say if you're one of the people who saw it, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and, uh, but you probably didn't. Well, maybe you did. Maybe you got a laugh. Um, it was kind of funny. Ugly. The house sucks. 
the squirrels hate me. Um, my work, eh, work has been, eh, um, oh God, I'm doomed. <laughs> then I put it on YouTube to show my friend and then it ends up getting more views than my last squirrel video, which was about a pregnancy announcement for one of my squirrels. So on top of everything else, my YouTube channel isn't taking off. Please hit subscribe. Please.